Hey guys, it's MC Fixie here. We have a 2011 RAV4 2.5 four-cylinder, very similar to the V6 model as well for the oil filter, but this oil filter is stuck where I took it. They uh, tightened it down way too tight before we got this vehicle, and this is me taking it off for the first time, and I'm going to walk through all the tools and supplies to show you how to fix this problem. Here are the tools. We have a vise, a jack and jack stand, and block not pictured, but everything else here is pictured. We have the oil pan. Uh, it uses a 5W20 or 0W20, your choice. I have another vehicle that does 5W20, so I'm just using the same. It does give you that option. We're going to be using a Fram Tough Guard TG9972, and it does come with the little filter to get the fil the oil out of the filter and two different o-rings and this is a much different filter than a lot of vehicles it is not a can filter it is an actual filter filter so uh, a little different technique we'll have to use including a specialty tool uh, this works for a lot of different Honda or Toyotas and so there's a whole list I'll have a link for this in the description you're going to want uh, a pick probably to help get out some of the o-rings sometimes they can be a bear to get out um, you'll also want something that you can torque down there is specific torque that you do have to have this at uh, just a regular ratchet i do like about a six inch extension you probably could get away with a three or if you had some kind of swivel on your socket uh, uh, then we use a 14 millimeter i do put a piece of tape and do market rav4 because then i know exactly what to go back to in the future have plenty of towels and rags available as well to kind of clean this out and you normally can take the oil back to wherever you bought it from so if you need the full oil change go ahead and click on the card up above but we're going to go straight into the problem of removing that oil filter that is stuck that bolt and you'll see it in a second is just completely stuck on there sometimes this does break so do be careful and uh, try to follow these tips as i do it and this is just your normal extension oh man they put that on there so tight good grief well i hope i don't have to break this off because this was last done at a location and I might have to buy a new entire filter. This is one of the reasons I like to do this one at home. We just got this vehicle and I know these filters are not the easiest and you will have to dump it like that if you can't get that silver piece off. Yeah, whoever did this really tightened it down and really cranked on it. So hopefully I can get this off without having to break it. So whoever did this put this on way too tight. And I'm hoping I can get it off by hand. But I really doubt I'm going to be able to. Probably going to end up having to... Probably going to have to put this in a vice grip to get it open. Because there is an O-ring under here and there's an O-ring right here that we do have to get off. Yeah, and whoever did this just really cranked it down. It actually tells you the exact specifications, 25 MNs, or it's about 18 foot-pounds, and they just really crank that thing on there. You're doing metal onto plastic, and I'm sure they just tighten the snot out of it. I'm going to take this to my vise and hopefully be able to, to clamp it down a little bit and see if that works. Please ignore all the junk in the back. Um, this is going to be my one attempt to try to salvage this. If not, I'm going to have to go to Toyota. And uh, don't really want to have to do that. Oh my gosh, they put so much pressure on that. What did they use? An impact gun? Yeah, this is why you don't trust those quick lube places. <clears throat> oh, it came out. I don't know how. Man, that was like that's like breaking a lug nut off. Okay, so that did work. Wow, I cannot believe that. So maybe we can salvage this. 
So we're gonna go ahead and pull the O-rings. Now remember where this O-ring is, that's really important. This O-ring does not go all the way at the base. If you put it all the way down here, you will not get the proper seal you need and you'll be leaking oil everywhere. So that's oil O-ring number one. Uh, the number two is almost hard to see. It's right down in here. So again, these little picks help out a lot. And I like to go ahead and clean that up pretty good to get some of that old oil out. And we will put a little bit of oil on the, the new ones. So I like to go ahead and open up my oil. And I just put like a drop in the cap. You could use old oil, but I like to just try to make it all new. So you go ahead and grab your O-rings. This is the first one. This one goes on the top here. Man, and it feels like that one is almost too big to go in. So you just kind of got to force it to go into place. There it goes. And you kind of have to seat it in there and get all of it down at once, just like that. This is also why you have to be careful how much torque you put on these. Because if you're not careful and you over torque it, that O-ring's useless. Go ahead and grab the next one. Remember to put it at right there, not there, right here. Same thing, grab a little bit of oil. Just go ahead and lubricate that properly. If you see any other oil you just want to get out, go ahead and do that. Um, but it does look like this thing stayed intact somehow, even though they, they tightened the snot out of that. So I'm really impressed that did not break. Good job, Toyo, to make it a plastic thing that didn't break. Um, I break all kinds of plastic. Uh, then you can go ahead and grab your filter. And I like to put it just straight in there, just like that. I do like the frame to, to show up. That's how the original one was as well. Um, they are, they do look really identical on both sides, but it does kind of snap into place. Did you hear that? I don't really want to pull it out again, so I'm just going to leave it. Um, but it does kind of snap into place, and that is almost all set up for you. Um, and then we will torque it down, and then we will torque this down on top of this. So we'll be using both of those and a torque stick to go ahead and put that back into place. And this does not have the cap on it yet. I'm just gonna go ahead and spin it in by hand. It does not have the cap or the metal piece. Just wanna make really clear on that. And then you can go ahead and grab the cap and I would go ahead and set up your torque wrench as well. It is 18 foot pounds of torque. And as long as you're pretty close within two or three foot pounds of that, it's not really going to matter too much. I don't know why that was in reverse. I never put that in reverse, but it was. So you have that six inch, six inch extension on there and just getting this to click is the goal. And you just heard it click, so that is done. We're gonna put the exact same amount on this. I'm gonna go ahead and spin it in by hand to get it threaded correctly. So it's pretty tight. So that means both o-rings are working properly if this is torqued and then you just heard it click uh, then this bolt is 30 foot pounds after you've done this enough you can kind of guesstimate what it is but especially the first few times you do this you do want to make sure that you do it correctly um, because it is just a little bit different and so you grab that 14 millimeter
torque wrenches are a bit heavier than uh, standard wrenches so sometimes it does fall off pretty easy and you heard that click go ahead and wipe everything up if this was helpful please like and subscribe please comment if you do have any questions thank you guys so much for watching